Hello and welcome back to Diesel Rail Car Simulator. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Last time out, I took a four car train similar to this one, just double the cars, on a semi stopping service where I, I think I stopped only once. Well, I started off obviously some somewhere, then I had one stop along the way, passing through four or five different stations and uh, ending up at the beach where uh, I dropped off some passengers who were probably going to catch the uh, ferry that appeared to be docked alongside the railway station. Very, very interesting uh, scenery design. Definitely very interesting. Now, I think that this particular this particular train is excellent. So I'm going to continue using this train and we are going to continue with exploring the exploring the line. But this time, instead of doing a semi stopping service uh, at the bottom of this particular route, I'm going to be doing a stopping service at the top of this route. So we are going to be taking urban up to one four. We're going to be starting at Sandon end up. We will be stopping at Limbury Green, Odderley, Kempsford Lower Level, Sherrington, and then Trowden. Sherrington? Sherrington. Sherrington. Sherrington, and then Trowden down Sidings. So that is the route for the day. Uh, departure time, it will be 06.15, and we should be at the Sidings by 06.40. Nice and short, just to keep these videos fairly short. Again, this vehicle is going to have gearing and as usual, I'm going to be using my flight simulator controls, my throttle quadrant to actually uh, use maneuver the train or control the train and manipulate the, the different various other uh, different controls. I will go over that again whilst we are on the go. I think that is everything. Let's get started and let's see if I can make this one and get a better score than last time, which was just under 7,000 last time. 6,990, I believe. Let's see if I can get higher than that on this run. Okay, here we are, ready to go. Uh, we only have a few moments, so I'm going to immediately put the uh, put the key in, and also uh, correct my own little error of plugging my own headphones in. And I'm going to start the engine. Uh, there we go. Both engines are started, so I just use a couple of buttons. Uh, quickly check the brakes. There we go. Brakes can be going through the entire procedure. Handbrake is fully released. There we go. Uh, brakes need to be running. I do not want to be rolling. Just leave the brakes on light. Our first speed is 25 miles per hour. So we shall be going uh, into that shortly. And in fact, what I am going to do, I did say I was going to probably get rid of this target score. I think this is not needed. I also think that the throttles, uh, throttle position is not needed. So I'm going to get rid of both of those and see, see what, uh, what I can, I can end up doing. So let's continue. And, uh, that is all I have now got available to me. So I'm going to have to figure out what gear I am in uh, just by looking at the various controls. So let's go ahead and pop ourselves into first gear. That is first gear there. Prepare to release the brakes. Two to the horn. Brakes are released. And I'll knock the reverser into forward like so. At least I hope that's forward, that is forward, and we shall start moving. Okay. So a lot less in the way of controls. Uh, lights have come on automatically. So I will have to be more aware. Of, oh, look at this. Of where I am going and what gear I am in at all times. 
so a little bit a little bit more difficult adding to the difficulty overall uh, this seems to be okay going through this tunnel I could probably switch the AWS sign off as well but I'm not sure whether there, there was a was there, was there a control for that? no there wasn't Okay, we are about to go into a 40, but we are stopping at Limbury Green, so we will have to be aware of that. There's the station. Just, uh, just ahead. There it is. So I will ease off the throttle, and uh, we are we are doing all right. We are going uphill, so I'm just letting the I'm letting gravity slow the train down as we as we approach the station. Maybe just a little bit too much in the way of slowdown, but uh, we we are we are roughly on time here for for our stop. So we want to stop at the four car sign, although we are only a two car train. But that is okay. Just going to ease in, hopefully not end up late. Uh, just need to ease up just a little bit further up. There's the four car sign. There we go. And we are stopped. And we are on time too. Which is a uh, makes a makes a nice change. I'm not I'm not often well I say that. I mean I think I've been fairly good in the past well the past video. Now do I, I suppose there are only a certain number of shots I can take on this uh, screenshots I can take for this particular for this particular train and and this map but I think so far I'm okay so we have a 40 going into a 25 it looks like a a downhill gradient just there so I'm going to have to be aware of that and then we are stopping at Oddly which is in four minutes time so I will put, pop this back into first gear. And off we go. That should be first gear, right? Uh, second gear. Whoops. There we go. That is first gear. It did feel a little bit sluggish. I will We'll say it did feel a little sluggish. This this idea of changing gears with the with the actual levers is great. It, it is, really is. Now I'm not going to accelerate beyond 25 miles per hour. I see no no point in doing so. Given that the 25 is is just there. So I just see yeah, little to no point in, in accelerating up to the 25. Yep, acknowledged. There's the downhill that I need to worry about. We are accelerating just a bit. So just ride the brakes down. There we go. Lap them a little as we head into the 25 back down to 20 but as i said we are going downhill so i expect our speed to increase a little if not i can always give it a little bit of throttle we are about to be coming into oddly anyway not too far away uh, just around this corner, probably 500, 500 yards, 600 yards maybe. 
so I'll just go around. And there's the station. Onto the brakes nicely. I'm actually getting quite used to uh, driving this train and then just ease up right to the end there we go there's our second one there's our second stop again make sure the train is in neutral just all the way up for me on my on my controls so I'm using, again, uh, just to go, go over this, I'm using my uh, Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant for the, uh, for the controls. So one throttle lever is my throttle, the second is my gearing, uh, third is my prop, so my first prop axis is my reverser. The second prop axis is handbrake. Uh, the first pitch axis is the locomotive brake, and the second pitch axis, uh, sorry, uh, mixture axis is the train brake. I'm supposed to have um, it's a way to do. Is it depth of field? Let's try that for purposes of a screenshot there we go and then very quickly there needs to be a, an easy option to get rid of that depth of field perhaps there is and and I just do not know it um, there's the whistle yeah I am good to go release that first gear off we go signal is green ahead of us so I do not need to worry about that up to the next speed it is only 25 miles per hour through all of this we do appear to be still going downhill so I will be uh, careful about that and then we are going into a 40, but then stopping for Kempsford lower level. And then a 60, which is probably all the way to Cherrington or Sherrington. Now, so far we have been on time for everything. So that is good. Although I feel like we are about to start getting to a point where we are go we're going to end up being a little late there's the 40 mark and I think we should be able to accelerate a little though I see the station up ahead so that is something to be concerned of and I think we are clear to accelerate now because as I said I'm going to just drop that and start braking for the station Ooh, those those buffers looked a bit uh, sorry buffers rails looked a bit off there trying to find the correct spot there's the four car sign so I shall uh, guess stop there I am slightly off or quite off there that's okay at the back of the train is definitely on the station so really I should have been stopped just there so one carriage up but I am getting used to it very slowly I think one of the one of the problems is having certain size screens 
so having a smaller screen would make it more difficult so I have a, a 24 inch monitor that is set back uh, some, some distance away and I think that does make it harder to see certain things like that for and on top of that of course resolution uh, d does make it difficult that's uphill that is going to be interesting pop that back into first release the brakes here we go and we are accelerating 40 to 60 but there isn't apparently there is a red signal ahead so I'm not sure what that red signal is going to be about and we have a well, it's a decent run really uh, then it's going to be about six minutes to Sherrington, Sherrington. I just need to be aware of what those signals are. Now, of course, the signals tend to stay at danger until a train gets within a certain distance of it, within a, a block. Uh, then they will they will be changed. For example, there, that has now gone to a clear aspect. I still think gearing on trains is one of the best things ever. It is just so engaging, just like a steam engine, where you're, you're always carefully trying to figure things out and balance different bits. It's the exact same thing here. So going to accelerate right the way up to 60. This is going to be a good test of my braking abilities when I have to slow down for Sherrington if indeed the... Actually, what I'm going to do is just because I want to take a video, a video a photo clip. I'm just going to do this. then I shall continue accelerating as I need to. I'm sure I've lost some very important time there, but that is okay. At the speed that I'm going, I'm fairly sure I will be able to um, make up some of the time. Given that in the last video I, I ended up running early and I wasn't really at speed so just watching this it looks like it's slightly downhill or the roads are uphill I think the roads and everything are uphill so we'll just just keep an eye on the speed Again, a bit of coast, uh, coasting along. Fifty-eight miles per hour. Now, given that, uh, given that we have 50, 58 miles per hour and we have about four minutes to go, I would say that we are roughly. Uh, about three and a half miles from our from our next stop. The reason I say three and a half is I'm assuming a speed a speed drop coming in. So if it is, if it is sixty all the way through, then it would be four miles, sixty miles per hour, one mile per one, one mile per minute. So, but I am I am expecting a speed drop. So that would bring the that would bring it back just a little, bring the distance back a little. This is downhill a tad, just a touch downhill. I should probably take a screenshot there as well. Oh, actually it is a break from 60. Well, hello. This is going to be interesting.
starts getting on the brakes, slowing the train down. For the red signal. Which is coming up fairly quickly, actually. Where is it? So obviously you need to be aware of where these signals are. And that, that is something that I need to get used to, is see, being aware of where these various different signals are. And actually I think I am okay here, because uh, that signal's green for me. Well that is annoying. That is quite annoying. That's okay. Um, I am early into Cherrington. That's that is for sure. So I shall just ease the train in. Find hopefully find the right stop. Where where's the stopping point? Is there no particular stopping point for this train? I'm just going to use this to to my advantage. There's the six car. There's the four car. That's the one I want. Well, what's neutral? That I think was neutral. That is neutral. And let's get the car. Let's get the train stopped. There we go. We are a minute early. How close am I to the to the board? Uh, reasonably close. Maybe I could have been a uh, maybe five five yards further up. But still, that is okay. So we are a little bit early for for this uh, stop. So that gives us a, a chance to. Have a quick look around again at uh, at this town. It certainly is a it's a town. That's quite quite decent. I'm guessing maybe more of this will be filled out as time goes on, and obviously the scenery will improve further. At the moment, it's it is all very basic, generic, but in a way, it does. In a sense, it does work. So just from from here. Sure, this bit is a bit messy. You just fill that area up with trees, but for the most part, if you look at all of these, it, it, it does work. It looks British. So if you if you are here, look at that and say, yeah, that 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 is all Britain. And we have about 30 seconds to go. Probably ease off the brakes a little. There we go. Just let them start easing, hopefully not to zero. Because the last thing I want is to start rolling in the next 15 seconds. But I do want the brakes to be eased off so that we have a swift move away or pull away. Put that into first, press the brakes go, and away we go. Miss the other bit. Back up to 60. So this is going to be a a full acceleration. All the way. Just going to continue going. And our last stop is in five minutes, which is Trowden. Five minutes to Trowden. Look at that downhill. That's excellent. That bit there. Very nice. And then back uphill we go. 
concerned about the next signal so I do need to be just aware of that which has now shown clear for me obviously I saw I saw it clear there but the AWS also cleared a few seconds later and the distant aspect is showing that it is clear neutral it's not what I'm meant to do yes I accidentally put it into neutral very easy to do when you're using a controller without detents and obviously because the HUD is no longer showing that it is well, easier to to not notice just have to as I said maybe keep an eye on it something like this this sort of angle is probably better but uh, nice and quick this train has excellent acceleration for, for a train of its era um, it's quite smooth very engaging it's very good Six miles per hour. Okay, well that is a warning for me. So back on the brakes I go. Not going to be too hard on the brakes, but I am going to slow the train down as I cannot see the signal up ahead. Just going to hold the brakes at about 38% until I have a clear view of the signal. I could just use the... Oh yes, I can just zoom in like this. Still no clear view of the signal, so I'm going to continue braking. There it is. Still no clear view. Right, that to me looks like it is red, indeed. Oh, that's just changed colour for me. Oh no, that's not mine that's changed colour. Keep braking, keep braking, keep braking. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, that is mine. My one has just changed colour. It was the branch that had changed for me. That's okay, because we were going into a 25. So it was the, this one that has changed. Uh, I am going to probably leave this in in fourth for now and break a little bit more as we come into the into the platform so again I, I think I've I've done a decent a decent job here that's actually neutral not fourth but it's okay because zero to eight miles per hour you should really have it in neutral I'm just going to let it coast in. In fact I should probably I'll put this in first but I think I can make it to the end of the platform just coasting and then just pop on the brakes. So this is clearly the end of the line. Um, actually no it isn't. You can continue under the station there. This bit is the end of the line but that bit looks like it continues and so does that actually. Having looked at that, this is this middle bit that is not. And let's bump up the brakes a bit. There we go. And we are done. Not bad at all. On time. Excellent. So let's have a quick look outside to see where, where I actually stop the train in comparison to maybe were there any signs telling me I should stop it elsewhere. There were not. Now that there are signs for a six car stop coming in the opposite direction. So obviously that is, ah yes, going out this way, I see. I see. So th it does continue. I'm not sure exactly where it goes, but it, it does continue. Okay, well, I guess at that point I press button 14, which I still have no idea what it is, so I just press escape instead.
And there we go. And the score today was 9308. Okay, so uh, I lost some, I lost the. 10% of my score was lost on repeat signals on minimap, so I need to probably get rid of that. I think I, I have probably gotten used to the point, or gotten to the point where I can manage to, to not need repeat signals. I only used 80% of the expected energy. Great. Um, tutorials penalties. Oh, so that, that's what, so all of this, maybe? I suppose so. So, repeat gauges on screen. I think I've taken that, I've got rid of that now, so that should be okay. Oh, mind you, the speedometer is still there. So there is that. Uh, show route minimap. Yeah, that is probably going to stay for quite some time, so I'm always going to lose 5% there. That is not bad, though. 10,000 or more is considered a perfect run i got 9308 i did not speed i did not accelerate or brake too hard i never messed up the gearing so i think i did everything the pretty much the best as i as best as i could um, maybe this should be a little bit smoother the, these sorts of curves maybe need to be a bit smoother that acceleration curve is decent that bit i think is where i hit neutral that deceleration curve is pretty good too. That, I would say, is maybe better than that curve. Uh, some of these deceleration curves are pretty good. That one is almost bang on. Um, very, very accurate. But, yes, overall, I think that was not too bad. So, at that point, I am going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to click on the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Diesel Railcar Simulator. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think of this title. Have you picked it up? What kind of scores have you got on this particular run? Urban Up 214. So what is your score for this particular run? If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. I would massively appreciate that support. It would really, really help me out. And also links to my social media and Discord are in the description box below too. That is all from me. And I shall see you next time in Diesel Rail Car Simulator where uh, I'll pick some other, some other journey and I shall see what I can do. I'm trying to stick with ones that are 45 minutes and under at the moment i may may do a 47 minute one sometime in the future but for now i'm going through the shorter ones eventually bring myself up to about 45 minutes and stick around around that mark until way in the future where i may do one like that which is over two hours so make sure you stay tuned for all of that and indeed other train simulators and I may as well promote it here, Transport Fever 2. It's a really good series, I think. Anyway, I'll see you next time.